Meghan Markle's family members have said some pretty controversial things about her. They aren't holding anything back about their princess pushy. As the royal wedding quickly approaches, many members of Meghan Markle's family continue to come out of the woodwork to share their thoughts about the future royal. A couple of relatives have revealed that they have not been invited to the royal wedding and have said that they haven't seen Markle in years. Others have been open about their turbulent relationship with the bride-to-be. Here are some of Markle's family members and what they've said so far. Samantha Grant Samantha Grant, who is also known as Samantha Markle, is Meghan's half-sister whom she shares the same father. Like Thomas Jr., Samantha Markle is from her father's first marriage. Grant has been very vocal about the future royal even though she has said that she hasn't seen Meghan since 2008, when Meghan came to her graduation, according to an interview with the Daily Mail. Most recently, Grant defended her right to speak out against her sister in an interview with TMZ. Meghan is not going to tell me I can't speak about my life or my father's where it's a matter of public self-defense because the media is disparaging us, she said. I'm not going to take it, she's not qualified to suggest that I don't. Grant's latest resurgence comes after her father, Thomas Markle Sr., was under fire for staging his own paparazzi photos. Grant took responsibility for the photographs and said that it was all her idea. I have to say I am entirely the culprit, I said. You have to show the world you're getting in shape. It was my suggestion. I don't believe he was paid and if he was it was a pittance. I can understand it's awkward for Kensington Palace, she explained. At times, Samantha seems to be both a supporter and critic of Meghan. She has done various interviews with the press in the months leading up to the wedding, in which she mentioned times that Meghan could have helped her and her family, including their father, like in the interview with the Australian TV show A Current Affair. However. She says that she is very supportive of her sister and is happy about her engagement, according to Us Weekly. But she did tweet that Prince Harry should be encouraging Meghan to talk to her family. Samantha claims Harry allows Meghan to ignore the Markles. She also plans to release a memoir called, The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister, although she insists it will not be against Meghan at all. She says the book's title comes from the media's portrayal of Meghan. The title is a mockery of the media. She told the Daily Mail, It wasn't me who called Meg pushy. It was the tabloid newspapers. She is not pushy. The book isn't going to be negative. It's a warm, witty, honoring book. Unfortunately, the negative sing-song has gone round the world. Thomas Markle Sr., Samantha, Thomas Jr., and Meghan all share the same father, Thomas Markle Sr. Meghan is Thomas' only child with his second wife, Doria Ragland while Samantha and Thomas Jr. are all from his first marriage. According to the Daily Mirror, Thomas Sr. is very reclusive and has been living in Mexico. He recently was at the center of a tabloid controversy when he admitted to posing for staged paparazzi photos. Per TMZ, Thomas Sr. meant no harm to Meghan or the royal family when he made a deal to allow a photo agency to take pics of him getting ready for the wedding. Thomas Sr. also claimed to have suffered a heart attack because of the stress, and it remains to be seen whether he will walk Meghan down the aisle on Saturday. When Meghan and Harry first announced their engagement, Thomas Sr. and Doria released a joint statement saying, we are incredibly happy for Meghan and Harry. Our daughter has always been a kind and loving person. To see her union with Harry, who shares the same qualities, is a great joy for us as parents. We wish them a lifetime of happiness and are very excited for their future together. Thomas Jr. is Meghan's half-brother. The two share the same father, Thomas Markle Sr. According to The Sun, he is currently living in Oregon and works as a window fitter. He was most vocal about the royal wedding after Prince Harry said the royals were the family that she's never had, according to People. Thomas Jr. then said spoke with the Daily Mail, It was just a little shocking because Meghan had an amazing, amazing childhood growing up and she had a lot of family. Thomas Jr. reportedly tried to ask Markle for help after he made headlines due to altercation with his fiancée. According to an interview with In Touch, he blamed the fight on the newfound pressure from the royal engagement. However, he told In Touch that her lack of help is a slap in the face. Doria Ragland, Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, will also be there for the big day. According to many reports, 
Megan is particularly close to her mother as she stayed with her after her parents got divorced when she was six. Unlike Thomas Sr., Doria has been seen with Megan out in the spotlight and has attended many events including the Invictus Games. Harry has since gushed about her mother, saying her mum's amazing during their first sit-down interview together after their engagement. Doria has stayed quiet about Meghan and the future wedding. So far, she has only released the joint statement with Thomas Sr. released after their engagement. There's no word on what Doria will be doing during the wedding day but she will definitely be a part of it. Meghan had previously shared that she wanted her mom to walk her down the aisle. Tracy and Tyler Dooley Tracy and Tyler Dooley are some of the extended family members openly talk about Markle. Tracy was previously married to Meghan's half-brother, Thomas Jr. And Tyler is Meghan's nephew, according to Good Morning Britain. Tracy Dooley and her son Tyler went on the British morning show in March to extend their congratulations to the royal couple. While Tyler seemed hopeful that they would possibly receive wedding invitations, Tracy was a little less as they haven't seen Meghan in years. I don't think we are going to get the invitations and that's fine, she told Good Morning Britain. We're okay with that. We're still supporting her on. We're so proud of her. Hopefully, Meghan can get everything between her family sorted out soon so she can enjoy her big day.